All right, well there's the first coat of filler on it. We'll go ahead and let that dry off. We'll sand it down, rough it down, and get it a little bit more to final shape. Um, smooth it out a little bit more and see we're going to have to add at least one more coat of filler. There's still got to be the boss on the side for the oil hole to go in, and we're going to shape this outer contour a little bit more. So I think that looks pretty good for the moment. Now this is just a primer surfacer, it's just what I had laying around. We'll still have to build up a little bit of filler on this, and uh, there'll be quite a bit of sanding yet to do, but I just kind of want an idea of, uh, of what the contours look like and how it's actually kind of laying out for, for visual on the front. I think I'm going to build up a little bit on the back end. I want a little more draft plus a little more machine away where it meets the pan. Um, but the contours aren't too bad I think. I just want an idea of what I'm going to machine away on the bottom so we're going to build up a little bit more there. Um, I think we'll we'll spray this, let it dry, and then just kind of take a look at it and see. Have to be filled a little bit more around the around the radiuses and smoothed up of course. Um, but this kind of gives us a, a rough idea of how it's going to lay out what we're going to be once it's all filled, the grain's all filled, it's smoothed out, all the voids are filled. That's actually a pretty satisfactory contour on the outside, I think. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to let this cure the rest of the day. Maybe tomorrow we'll go back to sanding on it a little bit more and see exactly where we need to fill and, and get this. But this pattern's getting relatively close. I think the dimensions are pretty well right. I did go back and change the, the snout on this a little bit once I decided on the bearing, which is going to be a 460 Ford, and the seal that's going in there, why that gave me my outer dimensions on what I wanted. Um, where I'd contoured down in before on this second layer, I went back and replaced that uh, with a solid piece, so that will bore out when we machine it. And um, we'll let this cure up real well, and uh, then we'll go back, smooth it down, and and figure out where we need to fill and where we need to smooth a little bit more. Weather's already starting to change a little bit around here. I think we're pretty much done with winter, so I think I'm going to be able to be out and, and be tempering my molding sand and getting ready to cast this here a little bit sooner than I thought I would. If you found this interesting, well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. And if you like these, give me a thumbs up. Any comments or suggestions you've got or questions about this, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks for taking the time to watch.